What is the most outrageous waste of money you have witnessed with your own eyes? I know a guy who purchased a second car. His first car is a Mustang. His second is an Audi. He is a single father. His payment arrangement is 400 per month. He didn't try to talk it down. The car is 10 years old. His Mustang isn't paid off. He works on my team in the same position as I have. My wife and I together can barely afford our 250 per month single car payment. And the best part? He can't drive a stick. His new car is a stick. He hasn't learned to drive a stick. It's been 3 years. He's been doing all of this and struggling for 3 years for a lawn ornament. I work as a freelance musician and often stand in for wedding bands. I've worked at lots of weddings where clearly the families have crazy money. One thing I always see at the fancier events without fail is a ton of amazing, fully prepared food and expensive drink being tipped thrown away at the end of the night. When I asked about it once, I was told by one of the staff that a lot of catering companies are trained to prepare enough of every menu option so that if everyone orders the same thing, they have enough. What happens in reality is they tip away enough food to feed the wedding party, often of 200 plus people, another two times over. Particularly annoying when the band are served cold chips as their evening meal because we couldn't stretch the budget. Sorry. On a more positive note, one of the funniest things I've ever seen was a drummer successfully sneak out of a catering tent, having liberated a whole wheel of cheese that night. At our wedding we had so much food and cake we were begging staff to join in on the party with us. It's such a wonderful celebration. A wedding. Can't imagine people being dongs to those helping at the event. I'm a VIP tour guide at Walt Disney World. Each guide costs $600 hour and charging starts when you ask us to meet you, whether you're there or not. A family booked two of us multiple days in a row and wouldn't show up until typically 2-3 hours into being charged. $7k plus overall paid for tour time they didn't use, didn't care at all. Few years back I used to make cast molded pewter figurines for DND. I could buy $25 worth of pewter, and mk about 50-75 figurines, which I sold for $10 to $50 each, depending on the size. Had a guy come to me, buy every figurine I was able to make, I had 72 different molds. For a cost of $900, said he was going to get deep into DND. Week later he gave up on the game because he couldn't figure out the battle system. I work at a car dealership as an apprentice mechanic. Now I've seen many examples of people wasting their money, be it car parts, dumb accessories, whatever the list goes on. But there was this one guy that would spend literally $75 on a car freshener and bragged about it constantly. He'd call himself Elite because he bought these $75 pieces of scented cardboard. I don't know what went through his mind every time he'd buy one of them. I worked at a 5 star beach resort. Rich 30 something year old mom comes in around 10am to buy sunglasses. $500 Prada shades? No big deal. These people have frick you money so I think nothing of it and return to work like the good pleb that I am. This bee lost the glasses in the ocean, buys another pair, loses that pair, then complains that we won't give her the third pair for free, so she pays for the third pair. This all happened before 3pm, $1500 in sunglasses in 5 hours. Several years ago I found a brand new pair of Prada glasses on a beach in Port Arkansas, TX. They just washed up while I was sitting in the water drinking a beer. I still have them to this day and they are great. They certainly beat the $5 pair of sunglasses I had purchased from Walmart. One from the late 1990s. A large multinational engineering firm was given orders to eliminate unnecessary overhead expenses. One of their departments had a large conference coming up. About half the attendees were going to attend by teleconference. In those days, Teleconferencing was done in dedicated rooms with CRT monitors and cameras. The use of these rooms was classified as an overhead expense, but business travel was not. So, in the name of saving money, all the teleconference arrangements were cancelled, and all attendees were flown in to attend in person. 
One of our sister companies decommissioned a printing press that was identical to one we were using. It was given to us to store in a warehouse so we could scavenge it for parts as needed. Parts for older presses can range from $500 for little things to several hundred thousand for larger assemblies so this was a great gift for us. Our maintenance supervisor, he'd been with the company for about a year, decided to show management how good he was at cost saving so in an effort to save warehousing costs on useless parts he told the warehouse to scrap the whole thing. Even if it cost $15k a year to warehouse it, we've needed about 20 times that amount and ordered parts now that could've come off that old machine. Had the parts crib scrap a $30k gearbox for a machine because it hadn't been used for a few years. About a year after the spare was scrapped, the gearbox failed. Six weeks of downtime waiting for a new one gets expensive in lost opportunity, way more than whatever the storage costs were. When he was 8 my buddy got hurt in a supermarket because of random boxes in the walkway his mom sued and he got rewarded $18,000 in a settlement however he wasn't able to touch the money till he was 18. Anyway, when he turned 18 in 2009 he got all of the money all at once. He immediately went out and bought TVs, the biggest of course, and Xbox 360s for 4 family members. Then he paid the $500 down payment on a brand new car and leased it for $350 Mo went to a local sit down restaurant and paid for others to eat there multiple times and I don't even want to think about his online shopping. This went on for a month and a half. One day one of his friends made him a deal, it'd buy him a laptop of equal value at the time, for his Xbox 360. They went to the store and went to pay for it. His debit card got denied. When he checked his balance he had about $150 in his account. My dad did this when he got a $92,000 settlement because a malfunctioning hydraulic press caused him to lose photos. Except he spent all $92,000 on crack and his money lasted about 9 months. My company didn't want to bother the new employees in France with menial tasks but they had no office manager. So my company wanted us to buy our rolling whiteboard in the USA and have it shipped to us. Then ship it to the office across the Atlantic. Rather than you know sending them an Amazon France link and giving them a credit card to buy a rolling whiteboard for say 150 bucks they wanted us to get it in the US and add an extra 200 bucks in shipping. Had a friend who was in his late 20s and lived with his parents, 100% dependent. Dude worked a part time job and said he was saving money for something big. We all assumed he meant like moving out or a trip out of the country or something. Number. This MF bought a $750 pair of sneakers and then put them in a display case. I haven't spoken to him in about a year. I cannot even begin to imagine why anyone would ever think this is a good idea. Parishioners spent years raising several million dollars to restore their large, aging gothic church. No sooner was the extensive restoration complete but what plans were announced by the diocese to close the building and merge the parish with another. All those donations, fundraisers, and tireless efforts right down the drain. And thus far the only potential buyer for the church is considering turning it into a combination nightclub restaurant banquet facility. That's really sad. Some of those older churches are really awesome. Friend bought a new fully stocked car he couldn't afford on his salary. He said it's okay because he is getting another job that pays better wages. Only thing is, he hasn't taken the exam to get his license for the job yet. I hear this too often. We can't really afford this house now but in the future we will be getting raises and promotions so we should be okay. Don't spend money you don't have. The three separate occasions where my dad bought a boat, neglected to use it for years, sold it, and bought a different boat like the next year. Sounds like a boat owner. Going to study abroad in Japan while having a severe allergy to peanuts and eggs and absolutely zero knowledge of the Japanese language. He left after one week. One girl that was allergic to peanuts came on my study abroad that spent 10 days in Thailand, and she had to eat soup for every goddamn meal, but she still had a great time so props to her for embracing other cultures and also for not dying. We were all a bit scared for her but she seemed to think she was immortal and hasn't been proven wrong yet. In Las Vegas in 2000 at the Bellagio I watched a guy walk up to a high roller blackjack table. He was being followed by a security guard and some guy in a suit carrying what we guessed emitted at about $300k in chips. 
he sat and played blackjack by himself. We watched for about 45 minutes and he had already lost over $150k. Never once showed any emotion. No clue who the guy was. He was dressed like a stereotypical white grandpa in Jean shorts, a polo shirt, and white New Balance tennis shoes. Money talks, but wealth whispers. This guy is probably loaded from your description. I work for Amazon's logistical team. They're currently spending thousands of dollars sending people to CDL school so we can move freight between sites. However they're not giving out bonuses, raises or any kind of incentive. So everyone's just leaving immediately after to better paying jobs. It's hilariously stupid. Our unethical affair tips says if you want to be a CDL driver, Amazon's giving out free training. Two of my favorites. My rich uncles bought a luxury sport boat. Something went wrong with the rudder that you use for water skiing. They were so disgusted that after paying thousands for the repair, they got a whole new one. Selling the old one for nothing. I also worked at a high-end footwear factory, making pairs of leather shoes that retail at $500 a pair. The owner was a self-styled anarcho capitalist, and had some entertaining ideas about how to run a business. He had some notion that his staff would work harder if we were afraid of bankruptcy, so he stopped buying leather. I don't know how these things were connected. Naturally, we could not make more shoes. We told customers that the wait would be longer than ever for their shoes. Sales stopped. Orders stopped. I swept the floor 10 times a day. He refused to buy leather for 3 months, while keeping all of us working. Paying our wages with his own credit because he was mad at someone who told him that his strategy was idiotic. The company was bought out by another old boys club entrepreneur a dickhead after the owner ran out of money. The company I work for invested 1 dollar million into a new framework for servers and databases, let it sit unused for 6 years and then migrated a very poorly tested environment onto it when it was 2 years until the OL. Basically forcing themselves to start looking for a replacement right after migration. Same, our IT debt wasted shed loads of cash on fancy new servers, even though the ones we had were adequate. Then we didn't have the budget for newer workstation PCs as they overspent. So while the server room is this pristine bunker in HQ some workstations have 15 year old Dell CRTs sitting on top of PCs that my 4 year old phone outperforms. I had a client who borrowed money at 6% interest only fixed for 5 years, to invest in 5 year term deposit offering 2.3% because he was told he should have investments in term deposits when nearing retirement. I just recently found out my GFS dad took out a non-fixed loan for 180k about 4 years ago using his house as collateral. Now he's bitching they want to raise his interest rate again, like they have done every year since he took out the loan. Co-workers putting $300 in a slot machine. Lost it all in a few seconds. Then he asked to borrow some money because his kids are coming to visit. I guess I know why he was divorced. Not sure the amount of money, but it was a lot of bacon. I once worked for a 3PL warehouse primarily focused on food storage services. A client company was storing some pre-cooked bacon for use in some product they were planning to release. They decided not to release that product and ordered all of the bacon we were storing for them to be destroyed. We loaded multiple trucks with close to 150,000 pounds of perfectly edible bacon to get tossed in a landfill. Saddest day of my life while working there. Before anyone asks, there was an auditor from the client there making sure all of the pallets of bacon were loaded onto the trucks and none fell off. High school head of math department buys about 10 pallets of chalk, and retires the next year. The new head of the math department decides to switch out all the chalk boards for dry erase boards. They aren't allowed to throw out the chalk, and aren't allowed to share with other departments who still use chalk boards. They had a room full of chalk for at least 7 or 8 years that no one was allowed to use. Definitely not the biggest sum of money, but spent for a really stupid reason. I bought a $300 bottle of scotch when I meant to buy the $60 version from the same distillery. The boxes look nearly identical. When the cashier told me the price, I realized my mistake, but she and everyone behind me in line seemed really impressed that I was buying something so expensive. So now I own an unopened very expensive bottle of single malt because of my social anxiety. 
I had a friend buy a LB of cheese at a very upscale cheese store because he tried a tiny bit and thought what the heck. I'm on vacation. I'll splurge. No prices on anything. Stuff cost him $200. He was too embarrassed to say he made a mistake. Side note, it was freaking delicious. But not $200 delicious. I have a friend who will book vacations to countries other co-worker book trips to just so he can say he's been there first. Tell him you're going to Syria. Not the biggest waste, but weirdest one. Around 2001, my wife worked for a national company, and her team was split between east and west coast. No working from home or laptops. Desktops were standard for them. If someone needed to work from home, they had a single laptop they could use for the whole team. So, if that laptop was in NC, and someone in CA needed to work from home, they had to box it up, ship it, with full insurance, rush shipping, and a few days notice, to the other coast. That sounds just dumb enough to be true. Previous job, a satellite location ran mostly on their own, technically was their own company of 7 people. President of said company met someone online, got catfished hard and sent them $20k from the business. Then they did IT again 2 years later. That's amazing. I kinda hope it was the same person who catfished them both times. Was at the Bellagio in Vegas and walked in the high roller room. There was a guy walking around playing Baccarat on 4 or 5 different tables at a time. He'd tell the dealer 25 bank. 5 tie. 25 bank. 5 tire, while rotating around. Basically, he was betting $25,000 on the bank and $5,000 on a tie. Ask the pit boss about him. Apparently, he was the son of the LG CEO and was down about 5 million so far that weekend. The top business manager for the East Baton Rouge Parish school system fell for an unsophisticated con, wiring $46,500 to someone who claimed via a hotmail email address to be Superintendent Warren Drake, even though the man himself was working in an office next door. She also made no attempt to call or talk in person with Drake, whose office is adjacent to hers at the school board office on South Foster Drive. The fake Warren Drake says at different points that he is busy or in a meeting which appears to have dissuaded her from trying to talk to him directly. The fake Warren Drake requested the first wire transfer of $22,500 go to the account of Rosa Abode in the Bronx, and that the second of $24,000 go to Johnson Chepquini of Brooklyn. The third wire request, which was halted, was for $25,000 for Sylvester Namutidi, also from Brooklyn. I'm so glad I was at the school board office doing HR paperwork the day the police were called for this, lol. My company recently switched to a new operating system and rather than have a few people come train our office they planned to send everyone around 200 people to from the east coast to the west coast for a week for training. They did about half before realizing that wasn't cost effective, and since they're such a great company their solution after that was to stop training everyone and just give them books to read. Ouch, the salesman from the training company could have suckered them into the deal too. Still, I'd question your company's judgment. I was an assistant manager at a grocery store and you wouldn't believe how much produce I threw out because it wasn't pretty enough. The district manager set a high standard of how the produce should look. If I didn't color it correctly, he would write me up. He came in one three times a week, so I couldn't get away with not doing what he asked. When I looked at weekly reports of the shrink, produce amounted for about $100-$200. I asked him if I could donate the produce we throw out, and his response was that's theft. I was so glad when this place went out of business. I totally feel you. Had a similar boss at a donut place I used to work at. She wouldn't let me give away all the donuts we'd throw out every night. And on top of that I would have to bake 10-15 dozen donuts during a closing shift just so the case would look professional. Like, Jesus Karen. The wasted college kids at midnight don't give two shoots what the case looks like. I used to have something to do with warehouse logistics and whatnot. A new manager came in, and his first project was an order of about half a million dollars worth of pallet. These weren't wooden pallets, but plastic molded ones, specifically made to fit the forklifts that we were using. The order had to be made overseas and brought in by freight. They had to be exact measurements, of course, to fit the forklifts. 
He started bragging that my sales department made all the money for him to spend. A few months later, the pallets arrived and none of them fit the forklift in our warehouse, except for one. Turns out, he measured only one of the forklifts for these pallets. That one forklift was part of a unique, non-standard system used for minor moves. But faced with a warehouse of half a million bucks worth of plastic pallets that won't work with our standard forklifts, the guy was swiftly asked to resign. But yeah, now we use wood pallets. A girl I went to high school with applied to Harvard. She spelled it Harvard multiple times in her essay and paid the $75 application fee. Rip, though I spent a lot more sending my ACT scores to schools that I didn't even really want to go to. Although not a big sum of money my friend once borrowed my other friend's money so he could order a soda at Boston Market. He then went to the soda machine and proceeded to fill his cup up with water. This is the worst of them. I actually cringed. I had a friend that thought a good way to save money would be to buy gift cards for places he didn't like. When he actually needed cash he would transfer them for about 60% value. Idiot. My brother needed a plastic bag to carry some of his luggage that wouldn't fit in his suitcase. He decided the best plan was to pull off the interstate at the next exit and buy something in order to get a bag. Despite not needing anything to eat, he chose an expensive sandwich, a drink, he didn't need, and chips, he didn't need, and spent about $15. As it was sunny, we sat outside the store whilst he ate what he didn't need. We get back in the car and hit the road. About 10 minutes later he says frick, I threw that bag in the trash. I'm doing a course at university that covers specific contracts relating mostly to banking, insurance, credit agreements and other financial contracts and agreements. My lecturer has practical experience as a senior compliance officer at some big banks and told us about one of his clients spending, the equivalent of, in today's terms, $68 million buying, adjusting and rolling out software and hardware for their national banking system. The problem was that the software wasn't developed locally and, as a result, included functionality that served absolutely no purpose locally and, further to that, omitted functionality that was a baseline requirement in terms of what the bank needed locally. My lecturer attributed this to the fact that it happened around 2001-2002, which is why nobody was absolutely certain about what was going on. I didn't experience it firsthand with my own eyes but I can feel the pain of the higher ups who had to admit to making that mistake. Last he spoke of it he said they ended up abandoning the upgrade, losing out on the sum total of $68 million plus the $753.000 fine that was levied every 6 months for their lack of compliance with standard banking practices. He stepped down as their compliance officer when one of the execs told him that the fines would cost less than restructuring for a new upgrade. $753.000 twice a year is $1.506 million. Based on the $68 million cost of the first attempt, they could pay the fine for 45 years before reaching that cost. So it seems like the execs were correct. Once I was at this cheap looking casino with a friend of mine. In this casino there was a round roulette table with 6 seats to sit and play on. As we, only my friend and I, were sitting at this particular table. Some guy took 3 seats for himself and kept gambling the maximum amount of money on these 3 seats every game. This guy lost everything of course and went complete berserk after a while. Security had to drag his butt out of the casino because he was fighting the machines while screaming like a maniac. Poor guy probably lost everything that day. Still sometimes wonder how he's doing nowadays. I'm never done. That man paid for my college. Knew a guy that bought a device from a magic website that made it look like you shot fireballs out of your hand. Thing cost $200 and everyone around him said it was stupid. This may be autobiographical. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video.
bye for now.